Super Pap Mario. Pap time. So how about that Wii music? I haven't heard this in a little while. Last time I heard Wii music was probably a shovelware showcase. So it wasn't at all nostalgic for me in any way. Oh yeah, well I guess it's not really music, is it? <laughs> um... How about the Wii Shop channel? You guys want to check it out? Never mind. <laughs> I can't... I'm not gonna do that now, but it doesn't even work anyway. It shut down. Moment of silence. Um, it is not 3.03 p.m. Uh, this is actually being played on a Wii. It's a real Wii. I mean, we haven't seen this in a while. Um... Oh my god. I set my date. Now, this is a Wii that someone gave me that they weren't using, because my, my Wii's disk drive is busted. It still works. But it's just fucking broken. Um... So I can't really do a whole lot with it, aside from... You know, like, homebrew. You know what I mean? But, uh, anyway, welcome to the stream. Thank you, whoever gave me this Wii. Thank you, whoever gave me Super Paper Mario. I- you know my memory is so fucking garbage. I wish I could remember your names, but you have my thanks. God bless. Um, I've been meaning to play Super Paper Mario for a long time. And I will tell you about this. As I play. I'll tell you my story with this game, because I have a little bit of a story here. And I'd like to let you know that I'm also, uh, lowering the volume, and I'm drinking coffee tonight. Yes, coffee, at midnight, just about. Bowser's gonna get it. Don't let Bowser get it. Okay, never mind. I'm not gonna drink all of the coffee. But I did not sleep very well last night, had a very long day today. It's, um, this is that, um... That whatchamacallit coffee. The Insta Coffee. It's Waka. Waka Flocka. I'm okay. I'm doing well. I'm doing okay. It's just I'm tired. This is, believe it or not, a surprisingly tasty Insta Coffee. I'm surprised that they did such a good job with it. Anyway, um, just a little extra caffeine would be nice. That's all. So yeah, Super Paper Mario, I'm playing this because I've been in the mood for a Mario game in the paper or RPG series. Ahem, today I'll tell you the story of the Lost Book of Prophecies. This prophetic book was a mysterious tome full of stories of future events. Of course, many people craved this book, wishing to glimpse their futures. But no person, after obtaining this amazing book, ever found happiness. The reason? The book held frightful secrets not meant for people's eyes. That book <clears throat> came to be called the Dark Prognosticus and was sealed away. This is the tale of that forgotten book's last owner. It is a tale of love. Whoa, what happened to me? What is this place? <laughs> oh, you're awake, princess. Huh? Look at the edge crust. Bowser! Whoa!
It's like Mario Odyssey came to pass. What's going on here? Count. Yeah, um, okay, so preparations are complete. Mm, then it shall be then it shall be begun. And stuff. Bowser, ferocious and fearsome evil king of the Koopas. Do you take Peach to be your lawfully wedded wife till your games be over? Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Will I marry Peach? Are you kidding me? The answer is yes! Peach. Noble princess, pure of heart. Do you take Bowser to be your lawfully wedded husband till your games be over? Now wait just a second. You will explain to me what is going on right now! <laughs> is it not obvious? This is your wedding, princess! But why in the world am I marrying Bowser? <laughs> hey, no gripes from this side of the altar. Black old boy. Uh, don't I don't get the details, but the count here has gone to a lot of trouble planning this. Just relax. We'll get married. We'll be in love. It'll be awesome. Finally. No, and who picked this dress out? It's awful. Take me back to my castle immediately. Yeah, um, being rude to the esteemed Count is sort of frowned on. K. Oh, God. So, yeah, Princess Peach, I'm gonna need you to answer the Count now. Do you, Peach, take Bowser to be your wedded husband till your games be over? Uh, no, no. No. Gee, you sure are a fighter. But, yeah, no one withstands my super hypnosis. Sorry. I do. Say it now, okay? In the world. Huh? What am I doing here? Huh? Is that Princess Peach over there? I don't, I don't know which Luigi voice should, I should do. Alright, I'll do the Super Show Luigi voice. Fine, fine, fine. I, I can't do Charles Martinet Mario uh, Luigi anyway. Blank. All precisely is written in the Dark Prognosticus. Already it is unleashed, the Chaos Heart. It's Kingdom Hearts, finally? Oh yeah, um, congratulations, Count. Halt! I meant, um... Halt! And just, who are you? Oh no, I didn't... <clears throat> I didn't give my name to scoundrels! Just watch as Luigi punishes you for your badness! Here I go! Yeah, I'm gonna need you to stop right this second, okay? Oh god, this character. If you interrupt this now... Man, I didn't think I could pick out 2008, but here it is. Here's where Luigi rescues the princess. Huh? The voice is gonna be weird, sorry. It's gonna be all over the place for a couple minutes. Also, I don't have any control over these text boxes' speed, so I can't do this at my own pace. I have to just go. Oh, it's 2007? Fools, pointless. Acts like these will earn you only pain from Count Black. Very well, as the Chaos Heart is secured, this ragtag group now lacks use. Uh, so yeah, Count, um, this means you may have to turn to a new dark page of Dark Prophecies. Open your mouth, darkness! Consume everything and destroy all worlds, as told in the prophecy. This is a lot more story than I expected from this. And it'll t take me a while to find a voice to do. Oh, wow. Didn't even start the game yet. No, fuck you. I mean, I'll replace them when I damn well please. Mayro. 
Anyway, the, uh, this is someone asked, this is my first time playing this game. It is. And when I actually get in the game, I'll tell you my story with this game, because I, I have a bit of a story, as I said. And for those that are disappointed, this isn't another Paper Mario game. It is this Paper Mario game. This was my choice. But maybe eventually I'll stream Paper Mario 64. Wow, sure is peaceful today, huh, bro? Makes a guy feel lucky, having a peaceful day. Yep, real peaceful. So peaceful, it's almost a little boring. Makes you just wanna kablooey, you know? Some kind of shocking event. Oh, at Princess Peach's place, maybe? Hang on a second. That'd be cool, huh, bro? Maybe we should go visit Mushroom Castle. It has been a while. I'm sure the princess would be happy to see us. Mario, help! I'm just gonna assume it's a toad. It's a toad. Toad? What? What happened? Why are you so crazy? It's shit! It's shocking! Mushroom Castle! Raided! Princess Peach stolen! What? What? Why, that's ridiculous! Who in the world would do such a thing? You know, just, just think about it for a second, Luigi. Wait a second. Yeah, I think I've got it. Bro, this must be the work of that guy. That bad guy. I won't stand for this. We'll have to sneak into his castle and rescue Princess Peach. Let's go, bro. I'm counting on you, Mario Bros. Rolling Thunder! Oh, is this where, um, the sword falls from the sky into the castle? A different game. Listen well, my elite minion task force. It's time to initiate my awesome plot to invade Mushroom Castle. Today is the day that I make my beloved Princess Peach all mine. And if that weren't awesome enough, I'll also stop our little mustache buddies. We're under attack. Whoa, it's our turn. We're under attack. What is this we're under attack shit? Yeah, we're under attack. Oh, we're under attack. You jokers are the best. Hey, we're those hairy guys in the back. We shave around here, minions. Uh, Mario and Luigi. How'd you get in here? What? My front gate was open? How many times have I told these idiots? Fear the last in, lock the gate! Quiet, you big Bowser! We know you kidnapped Princess Peach! Now, oh, where did you put her? Where did I put... Wait, what? We're only now about to launch our attack? <laughs> Mario, help! Princess Peach? Black. Your princess has been taken by Count Black. You wait by who? By me, Count Black. The chosen executor of Dark Prognosticus is Count Black. The fine fellow prophesized to come to this dimension is also Count Black. I'll tell you who doesn't make even a little bit of sense. Count Black. Enough, release Princess Peach right now. I'm on a schedule over here. Count Black says never. The princess is integral to fulfilling the prophecies. 
She will be brought to Castle Black and used to destroy all worlds by Count Black. Destroy all worlds? Not even Mario's jump. No. Are you sure this game isn't Super Paper Luigi? Big bro! This man deserves ridicule. Weaklings cannot face Count Black. Hey, here's a thought. Can you calm down and free the princess or else? Your princess shall not be returned by Count Black. In fact, Bowser, evil king of the Koopas, Count Black will take you too. Black. I'm not doing the laugh. It's just not happening. All right, I'll do one. <laughs> Excuse me. Black. Count Black's preparations are now in order. All that remains is for the dimensional void to appear as foretold in the prophecy. I, I, I'm already sick of saying the word Black. I've uh, read chat and there's like, I've read like seven or eight different in, in, um, interpretations of how I should be doing Count Black's voice. Mario. M Mario. Are you awake? My name is Tippy, and I'm what is known as a pixel. A sort of fairy. Mario, I came to find you. I am no enemy. You met Count Black, a captured princess, and an evil king? Is this not so? Yeah. Then that means Count Black is even now beginning from the form of the void. No, I'm not. Motherfucker, we haven't much time. You must come with me. <clears throat> Yes, if your friends are to be saved, you must come. Let us go. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing old lady in Atlantic City smoking cigarettes until death voice. I'll do Jay Leno for the pixel. Hey, how you doing, Mario? It's me, Jay Leno. You got any cars? Oh. Oh, well, 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 back so soon, Tippy. And who might this be? Red shirt, blue overalls, a, a magnificent stash. Tippy, you have truly outdone yourself. He matches the description of the hero in the light prognosticus perfectly. And his name is Mario. I welcome you, Mario. This is the town of Flipside. You have come far from the Mushroom Kingdom of your dimension. Of course, our fair flip side is no dimension at all. No, no, it is between dimensions. My name? Marlin. I'm a descendant of the ancients who created this town. I busy myself studying musty ancient texts to forestall the end of the world. You want to know about these? Ah, you, ah, you want to know about the end of all worlds. What's happening, you ask? So Tippy has not yet told you, I gather. Well then, Mario, the answer hangs above you. Do you see the gathering darkness in the sky? It is a hole in the very dimensional fabric of space. Such a strange phenomenon. Is it near or far? Well, none know. It may appear small now, but it will only grow. And in the end, it will swallow all ex It will swallow all existence. All worlds, all dimensions. This void was created by our enemy, Count Black, who wields the Dark Prognosticus. A fair and lovely princess, a furious monster king. The union of these two will call forth the Chaos Heart, the consumer of worlds. And the Chaos Heart will ravage the sky and so bring forth the void. 
Yes, the passage Tippy just quoted it is from the light prognosticus of my ancestors. The book also says this, the void will swallow all. Naught can stop it unless the one protected by the dark power is destroyed. The hero with the power of eight pure hearts will rise to the task. So it is written, this is Kingdom Hearts. I know very little about Kingdom Hearts, but I do know that this is Kingdom Hearts. This is one of the eight pure hearts. You are surely the hero spoken of in the pages of the Light Prognosticus. You are the only one who can defeat Count Black and save all worlds. Mario, take this and save all worlds from destruction! Nah! What? How can you refuse? If you do not accept this, all worlds will end! You must! Nah. I don't want- I don't wanna! After all I have told you, you still refuse? Y you are our very last soap! Wait, whoa, whoa, what did I say? Hope! Your very last hope! This is the final time I will ask you. Please, save the world. Still no! I see. Well, then all worlds are as good as doomed. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh god, is there a skip cutscene? Well, I I finished the game at least. I didn't... Listen. I didn't know that was gonna happen. I, I guess I kind of do deserve this. Jesus. Alright. Um... When, hey, well, when, this is like Far Cry before Far Cry. Like, when you fucking, like, play Far Cry 4 and you could just, like... What, what, what did you do? You, you ate the Crab Rangoon with the guy, and then the game would end. And you would just win. Time to overclock? No, this is actually being played on a Wii. For real, this is... on a real Wii. It really is. I like how chat doesn't actually believe me. <laughs> they, they don't fucking believe me at all. Until I show them proof and even then still people don't believe me. Um, no, the reason I didn't do this on, on Dolphin or anything like that is because I was worried about the Wiimote and I don't have the, uh, the sensor. And I, I figured it would make for a nostalgic experience to use a Wii. I regret this decision now. Um, I guess I'll replace my batteries. These batteries are in here from the last Shuffleware showcase. So, I don't know how long ago that was, but... Alright, so I guess while we're doing this, I can tell you that, yes, I've never played this game. I have played Paper Mario 64. I've streamed Thousand Year Door, like, a long time ago. I can't actually sharpen this any further. This is as blurry as, uh, this is as sharp as it can get. Uh, what else? Oh, oh, okay, so yeah, I played part Paper Mario 64. At one point, I've never completed Paper Mario 64, but I've, I like the game, obviously. Mario RPG, I love. And, uh, I'd like to stream Paper Mario 64 eventually, but I know this isn't... the same type of game as the, the previous two games. And I have heard that this game has its own little fan base. Like, at the time it came out, some people gave it a little bit of shit because it wasn't exactly like the previous two games. Um, but... From what I understand, the game has a bit of a cult following. It's been vindicated, and it's, it's viewed as the last great Paper Mario game. And, um... Anyway, before the game came out, I was interested in it for a long time. And... I liked the 2D, 3D mechanic, but I just didn't have money at the time, and I was like, I'll just wait for it to go on sale. 
and then it didn't for years. And by the time it went on sale, I just didn't care anymore. I guess it was like the end of the Wii's life cycle, or around that time. And I just said, oh, I'm not going to play this game now. Batteries changed. So, um... Yeah, essentially, I I've been waiting to play this game for a while, and then someone gave it to me at a convention, and here it is. Vinny, why are you skipping text? Because, fuck this game. No, I- there's people that are just joining now, and they're like, Vinny, why are you skipping text? But the truth is, you just missed me going through this whole thing, and then saying no three times, and having to redo all this. All right, well, here's... Here's where we were. Excellent! You truly are the hero of the book and love legend. My eyes never deceive. So, um, uh, Mario, our brave hero, take this! The pure heart has been thrust into your possession. It's a legit word. Now, great hero Mario, your first task awaits. You must take this pure heart. You must place it in the heart pillar in this town. Tippy will lead you there. Return to me when you are through with this task. This way. Wow, I get to play? So I'm not splitting the connection. This is going directly into my capture card, and I'm I'm uh, playing it through my streaming program. Um, yeah. This way, please. Come along. All right. Save block. are these, like, block nerds are using composite connections? Com um, component. I forgot the elevator is scheduled to be serviced right now. What a pain. I was gonna have lunch at Saffron's place, but I guess I'll just have to wait now. Think about it. There are elevators, but no stairs. What were they thinking? It's, it's 480p. This is all 480p. It's not great. They actually, apparently, there's an HD texture pack for this. It does look a little crusty. It's 480p widescreen and, and uh, yeah, adjusted. Vinny, you could play it on a Wii U. Now, I got that yesterday. People told me I should set up my Wii U for that. I do not want to set up my Wii U for a slight extra bit of non-crust. Um, the Wii U is... No, I'm, I'm good. Hole in the sky, what are you talking about? I can't even deal with the holes in my socks. You want me to care about a sky hole? Um, how's it? How are you good? Uh, look at you finding how's it shop here in Flipside. First time here, eh? I ought to tell- I ought to tell you we offer shop points here for our regular customers. You're in shop points with every purchase, uh, limit to one point for every purchase. Ain't enough, you win free gift. Free stuff for free, that's good. Wanna know just how many points you've saved up? Just ask me, got that, or do you wanna hear my spiel again? How about none item?
fruit. Someone said, why don't, why don't you play in the HD pack? Well, one last time, this is on a Wii. And, um, if you remember when I streamed Metroid Prime 2, there was a number of issues. And I, I currently don't have the sensor bar for the, um, the, or a Bluetooth adapter to, to hook up my Wii remote and stuff. So I just, I said, you know what, I'm gonna go OG with this. And I figured it would save us all the headache of me having to worry about, like, crashes and stutters and stuff. The heart pillar is this way. Come on, please. Alright. Weird thing in the sky. I wasn't there yesterday. Did a cloud blow up? What am I talking about? If a cloud blew up, it would be wet, right? This is the heart pillar. Then I get close and place the pure heart. Power of love. Well done. Now let's return to Merlin. Merlon. Yeah, I'm talking about the dolphin bar. That's what I was talking about. It's a thing that you can buy. And I, it's, you know, I ordered it. Might not be here for a little while, but... Wow, you look really silly. Where are you from, mister? So future Wii games that require a Wiimote. I'm good. I'm from Brooklyn. Or I was until Nintendo decided to retcon Mario's past, and now he's just generic, like, Mushroom Kingdom man. Um... This town's so peaceful, if you ask me, that's all you can really ask out of life. Some peace and quiet. Welcome to Fortune Teller's Fortress. My name is Mer Lovely. I use the twinkling of the stars to help people find the path to happiness. If you pay just a few coins, I will tell you the path you need to follow next. One fortune will cost you precisely five coins. Would you hear it? No. I see your fortune does not interest you, so then be on your way. I have no money. I cannot give you money I do not have. But even more than that, who are you? Perhaps you should strike this block before we head back to Marlon. I read your future, you will have a headache. Why will it, why will I have a headache? You will hit lots of things with your head. Never got the headache before. Oh, the two of you return. Look, a door has appeared. This dimensional door was made to lead the hero to another pure... I almost read that as Pop-Tart. Another pure heart. Yes, somewhere beyond this door lies one of the seven other pure hearts. Tippy, you must use your power to help Mario find this pure heart and return here. Of course. And Mario, I have something to give you that will aid you on your journey. Magic pipe that returns you to Flipside from afar. Oh. With this, you'll be able to return to Flipside from anywhere in the universe. Use it whenever you feel you must return in a hurry. 
to use your return pipe, go to important things. Uh, some areas it might not reach. It's 3G. Uh, the light prognosticus foretells that a hero will meet a dimensional governor. And from him, the hero will learn the dimensional technique. I am almost certain this refers to my friend, the Flip Wizard. <laughs> Flip Wizard. Bestovius. Best, best of us? Now go through this door and seek out Bestovius. Yeah. Hey, 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 listen. Hey, 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 listen. Let's get going. Uh, black. The void has been ripped in the dimensional fabric. Yes, Count Black is pleased. All has gone as foretold in the Dark Prognosticus. Now it is just a matter of time until all worlds meet their demise. Black! I think this voice might be a little bit better because he's like a Count. Like Count Dracula. You know? I don't know. We'll see. It it'll evolve. Wow, that's just super, Count! Yeah, first you'll erase all these naughty worlds! <laughs> Then you're gonna build a perfect world without war and all that other key stuff. Yes, yes, no one likes the icky stuff. Yes, a perfect world sounds magical. I can hardly stand the wait. Sorry I'm late. Huh? Two, there's two of you? What? What in blazing bug rats? How did I beat myself here? What's going on? Me, 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 me. Oh, oh, Chunks, you big silly! Did you still sleep or something? I guess it's kind of hard to be on time, though, when you've got muscles instead of brains. Hey! You, can, can, you can't fool me with that crazy shape-shifting hooliganry! It's me, me, innit? Show a little respect for the count! Yeah, can't go better in his face, lass! <laughs> How delightful, Mimi. Almost as dapper as Count Black. Ah, oh, golly, thanks, Count. With you around, it's nothing but big smiles all the time. Hanging out with the Count, that's my idea of a perfect world. And here I thought Mimi's ideal world was a gem-filled pool with hunky lifeguards. Hey, Dementio! Have you been reading my diary? I mean, um, never mind. <laughs> well, different strokes for different minions. After these rotten worlds are ended, Count Black will make all your dreams come true. But for that to happen, we must follow the instructions of the Dark Prognosticus. Yeah, about that. Just an FYI, uh, I've got an urgent memo for your inbox. I, I, I hate this character. <laughs> Apparently, there's been some unapproved interdimensional activity lately. Yeah. I'm thinking it's the hero of prophecy. We're gonna need an action plan for this guy. A dimensional interloper. And possibly the hero. You are sure of it, Nastasia? Interesting. Muse, Count Black. We must put an end to this nuisance. Count Black. Go Black! Let me get this right in the brain! The hero in the stage just going on about, you enemy! Then you gotta cut me loose on him! You gotta! I give a nice taste of old chunks! Very well, old chunks. I'll leave the hero chunking to you. Do not fail, Count Black. You can count on me, Count! I rain down like a fat thunderstorm, I swear it! Mimi Dimitri, you should tag along. You can witness a proper chunking. Hmm, I do enjoy a good chunking. Well then, I believe I'll head out as well. <laughs> so, hero, you defy Count Black? Then hurry, for your world's end draws near. Black. Mario was called upon once again to save the world. No small task. Could he prevent Count Black from pulling off his sinister plot? Would Mario reunite with Princess Peach? A truly interdimensional adventure was about... ...to begin... Cicero is hungry. 
This roll wants a sweet roll. Oh. Well, I hope you enjoyed the stream. To be continued. No, we got, we got, you know, we're going to play more. I just stop right before the game starts. That would be a lot of fun. Hey, listen. I feel the pure heart, but it's still far from here. Merlin told us to find his friend, Bestovius, to learn that dimensional technique. We better go find him. One more thing. If you want to learn about anything, just use my power. I know about many things. This is a nice little music remix. Tell me about this tree. Tell me about Mario. Point at yourself. I will give you advice on what to do next. Right, the first thing we should do is find Bestovius and learn how to flip. Well, this is an interesting game mechanic that doesn't need to exist, but I'm happy it does in some ways. Um, it's no secret that I don't like motion controls. I'm not a particularly big fan of the Wiimote in any capacity. I thought it was cool as fuck when it first came out, but that didn't last too long. You got some classic Paper Mario noises, at least. There's also some crusty frame rates happening, which is a direct result of, you know... It's just, um, streaming it from a Wii. The pointer isn't motion, which is... That's what I meant to say. I'm sorry, I didn't finish my thought. I'm not a fan of motion controls, but pointing at the screen is more or less okay with the Wii remote. And, um... I'm using the Wii Motion Plus Skyward Sword one, the gold one, and it, it's good. It does its job. Just fine. Shroom Shake. So there's RPG elements. Um... So, again, I've never played this. This was going to be a GameCube game. There are barely any motion controls. Oh, really? Press one and two together. Oh, that's a quick... Like a quick menu. This is not an empty house. There's something in this room. I can feel it. I can help you find hidden things. Why don't you look around with my power? No! Wiglet card. If you collect an enemy's catch card, you boost the damage you do to it. The more cards, the better. You can boost your power by double, triple, or more. Hey, how you doing? It's me, it's me, Nappy. There's a hidden door here. Let me make it visible for you. No, we're not- I'm not doing- I'm sorry. I, there's no way I'm doing a whole playthrough where I'm voicing this thing as Jay Leno. It's a door, let's go inside. Hmm. Hey, what is this meager mustache that stand before me? And how did it have the audacity to address my multicolored glory? How did these flimsy whiskers detect my secret door? This I can do is Dr. Light. Wait, right there. Red shirt? Conspicuous white gloves? Jaunty cap? Ha! You are garbed in the rich cloth of the hero of prophecy. You must be the great... Hero! Uh, impersonator. What a costume. <laughs> it's, Boston. it's Bostonian, Dr. Light. What a costume. You look like you leaped out of the pages of the prognosticus. 
This is Mario. He's dressed like this because he is the hero. Marlon told us to find you. Marlon? Oh my god, only his full-bodied beard rivals my hairy magnificence. If Merlon thinks you are the true hero, you probably are, I think. Well then, as the ancient prophecy foretells, I, Bestovius, will bestow upon you an ancient secret, the ancient secrets of dimensional flipping, for a nominal fee of 10,000 coins. But that's preposterous. You can't charge to teach the hero of prophecy. Why not? Even a great and splendiferous Bestovius has certain expenditures. Why should the hero get to the world delivered to him on a well-garnished platter? These heroes think that they can get away with shaking people down for free skills. A mere 10,000 coins should be nothing for a hero of the universe. What do you say? Yes. Fantabulous. Wait a moment. Oh, you lack 10,000 coins. I should have expected a cheap, such a cheap skatery from a hero with a scrimpish mustache. Now that I know you are determined to cheat me out of my due tribute, I will settle for just taking all the coins in your packet. Okay. Scintillating. Let us begin. How many coins did I just give him? Three? Two? <laughs> There's two coins. Flimdity, flam, uh, flume, diggity, uh, daggity, mega man, uh, doom, zip, zibbity, zabbity, zoom. Shaboom. Flip, flip, ow. I, Bestovius, have granted you the ability to flip between dimensions. Press A to slip between the very fabric of space. And, uh... Flip between 2D and 3D. Well, what do you think? Mind-blowing, isn't it? What is this A I speak of? I assure you that we are being watched from another dimension. Those beings will understand, but you lack the mustache for full comprehension. Us? Is he talking about us? Just remember that you can use this ability to find hidden items and secret paths. But beware! Use your new ability too long and you will lose HP. Wait, really? Oh, that sounds bad. If you find yourself in peril, just press A. It may say just save your life. Okay. The universe isn't quite the same as it used to be, eh? Whoa. Yeah, this is the thing that I thought was cool as fuck. But it, you know. Okay, the bar goes for a little while. It's not too bad. It does one damage, then resets? Okay. Seems like there's something hidden just about everywhere. Yo. Triple Mayro, pal pills. Little pals will follow you and damage the enemy they hit. Yo, what the fuck? That's so cool. Oh, the, this enemy... Oh, it can still hurt. Interesting. Vinny, no, you ran out of time. Oh, oh, I wasn't paying attention to that because uh, I'm a dump ass. That's all right. We're we're good. I get it now. Wow. 
Wait a minute, I ain't never seen nothing like that on Earth. <laughs> How do you get into that other pipe? Whoops, go press down in 3D. Okay. Vinny, that's just the pipe you come out of. Okay. Those poor Marios did not deserve that. The exit was the other pipe. That's fucking awesome. This is as cool as I thought it would be, ten years later. And yet, I'm still also kind of... You know, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. This is a nice game mechanic that... It works pretty well. I like it. I, it might not, you know last forever, the, you know, it might just be cool for a little while, but we'll see. Defeat enemies, dying boy. Oh, Jesus Christ, Dr. Light. leaf that reduces all damage by half. I wonder if people that didn't like this game so much when it came out, like I wonder if just retrospect retroactively because of the following Paper Mario games, this ended up being something that they enjoyed. Like, oh, well, I guess this wasn't as bad as we thought it was, that kind of thing. Vinny, I played it recently, I still didn't like it all that much. No. Fair enough. Retroactive enjoyment. Just because the new ones are shittier doesn't mean this one is good. I'm actually surprised at how many people are, um... ...are shitting on this game. There's a lot of people that were really excited for this, the stream, and now I'm I'm getting a chance to see some of the other side. Then either just purists. Well, I mean, it depends on you know what type of game you want. If you want Paper Mario, you want Mario RPG, you, you know. This isn't that, obviously. Doesn't seem like it, at least. Um, but... I mean, ob obviously, if you don't like the game, you don't like the game. If you played it and it sucks. For you. That's... not really anyone else's business. I mean, you can't really take that away from someone. But, um... Like I said, one of the things I noticed was that this game actually does seem to have quite a following and quite a fan base, and um, this is actually one of my most requested games over the years that wasn't a, like an annoying request. Because there's such a thing as an annoying request, I get those too sometimes, where it's just non-stop. Not even um, Mother 3 so much. Mother 3 was not that... People were generally pretty respectful after I told them, like, listen, just give me a chance to, like, give me a chance to not... How, how do I explain this? After I was done with Earthbound, I said, maybe I will play Mother 3 eventually, but I don't want to play it right away because I'm done with RPGs for now. And most people were okay with that.
spring. And again, I don't mind game requests. I like game requests because it helps me kind of understand what people are looking for and also lets me know what games are good. But, um, you know, I stream like, I stream every day. So I, I can only get to so many games in one lifetime, you know? So many of them. Jesus. So many baby Mario's dead. I'm not gonna say the specific names of people wanna wanna know what games are specifically annoying. I'm not going to say the names of the games, because then I'll just get more requests, and people, you know, are going to get upset. It's just not worth it. No need to throw any game under the bus. But here's one. <laughs> but here's one anyway. Crayola Scoot. Which is a game I've already streamed. And it's not even good. And I've gotten requests to stream it, even though I've already streamed it. Just because the name, the word Scoot is in it. So... No, surprisingly, not that many requests for Kingdom Hearts, though, um... I, I remember when E3 happened, I said I didn't understand what was happening in the Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer, because I, I don't know anything about Kingdom Hearts. Um... And... I got a lot of shit for just saying I didn't understand the trailer. So, but not too many requests otherwise. Like it wasn't like um, like Vinny, you need to stream this. Oh yeah, well they're they're that's right. Someone just said no matter what. You're gonna get shit for things, of course. But I'm able to kind of uh, pick from experience the stuff that's most upsetting. So, wow, New Super Mario's had a huge impact on the rest of the fucking series for a while, huh? I know I missed something. Never mind. Sorry, nothing. This came out before New Super Mario Brothers? Oh, really? Now you missed something. I didn't know that was the end of the fucking level. 
God damn it. New Super Mario Brothers came out 2006. This was 2007. Okay, there you go then. And so Mario came to learn the stupendous ability of flipping between dimensions, but there was no time to celebrate. Mario still had a pure heart to find. The trail ahead was overrun with savage beasts. Follow me, Tippy said as she flew toward the mountain that loomed ahead. The pure heart was hidden somewhere on the other side. Hey, listen. I'm gonna have to put that button away. The hey listen button. I feel that the pure heart is beyond this mountain, but it's still far, far away. Something tells me you'll need to put that new skill of yours to use. So that's how the level up system works. Each level you might get like HP or like attack up or something. I feel like this mechanic is like an idea they had for Thousand Year Door that they just held on to. They were like, hey, we'll just do this for the next game. And then they realized, hey, we can focus a whole game around this. People are saying, what the fuck, I never knew this was in the game. Wait, really? How many- there's so many people that didn't know about this. Um, okay. I just- I saw the- the thing there leading to the, uh... Behind the scenes. I was like, oh, that's... I thought that was actually where I had to go. I didn't even realize that was a secret. I just thought that that was the next location I had to go to. I mean, you know, I'm pretty cool that I could find secrets like this and, you know, just be awesome like that. And then die in baby video games frequently. You know how it is. I don't know if I should go this way or the other way. Um, I guess I can't go this way yet because this is all... That, that seems like a different mechanic altogether. that to happen. Fallout! There are still people... Wait, there are people that didn't even know about that secret. I, you know what? Every secret that I find, someone's gonna be like, Yo! Guaranteed. At least a couple people aren't, you know... Okay, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> don't even... 
I just, you know, secret hunting. I'm willing to, you know, sacrifice Mario's life for a secret. Which is how I'm able to find these super duper hidden secrets. Though I will likely miss several of them just because of, like, fucking crust blur. But what if the secret doesn't want to be found? Alright then, keep your secrets. Huh? Was this not just in the Wario Land game I played yesterday? Well, this is also in Thousand Year Door, right? And I think the original Paper Mario... Oh, wait, no. How are you doing in 3D space? It was in the original Paper Mario as well? Or was it in just Thousand Year Door? Oh, just Thousand Year Door. Hey, hey, you can't see me! This is unbelievable, buddy guy! I've been freaking out here for days, and finally someone sees me! A couple mornings ago, friend, I rolled out of bed the wrong side of bed, and once I get my coffee, I realize I'm stuck in some freaky di parallel dimension. I've been hollering and flailing for days, but nobody could hear me or say me, buddy. Just when I was starting to think I'd be here forever, I'd see you! You just blipped in here on out of the thin air! <laughs> so I was thinking if you could do that, maybe I can hitch a ride back with you? Just stand next to me and flip back to 2D, I'll hold on! Whoa, we did it! I'm back to normal! Listen up, you really bailed me out there! The 3D business was freaking me out! The name's Red, nice to meet you! Say, uh, any way I can repay you, buddy guy? Actually, there is one thing. There's a huge chasm outside that we need to cross. So, you want to cross the chasm, huh? Well, you found yourself the right guy. But hey, I've got to warn you. You know, this place is called Impasse Pass, right? I'm only allowed to let a choice few cross the bridge. It's my job description. I mean, that's why they pay me to stand here. <clears throat> you sure you want to pass, buddy? Yeah, well, you did save me from being trapped in a parallel dimension and all. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question. Get it right, and then uh, I'll let you pass. Sound good? Here we go. What's the name? Uh, what's the most manly color in the entire universe? Red or green? Green. Green? You're out of your mind. There's no way I can let a crazy like you pass. Game over. Wow, he actually beat the shit out of Mario for that answer. And here I was thinking I discovered a secret. I like that the background is still just a texture on the wall there. It's on the back of the, the area. I mean, it's giving me good memories of Thousand Year Door. Definitely thinking about going into the background of some of those areas and the fucking paper airplane mechanic and all that. I thought that was one of the coolest fucking things ever when I first played Paper Mario on the GameCube. I was like, are you kidding me? How is this game so far ahead into the future? But, um... One day, one day I'll revisit it. I want to do Paper Mario 64 first, but again, this is all, like, over the next couple years. So please, be patient. Please understand. What's the most manly color in the universe? Red. Yes, you are so right! I knew it, you and me, we see eye to eye on fashion, buddy! I'll throw the bridge down, hang on one sec. Alright, you should be good to go. Take her easy!
Vinny, is this legit or emulated? One hard. On 3D under the floorboards. Oh, it's on the Wii. Is there any other secrets around here? Guess not. No, um, it's, yeah, see? I guess you can do this menu on the dolphin as well, but I mean... Here's the thing, if it was emulated, I would be sure to have the uh, resolution cranked up. And I probably would have downloaded that HD texture pack. So... You know how I am. I like when, when games look good at the, at the cost of, of my sanity. Take Metroid Prime 2, for example. Hey stranger, where'd you blow in from? I'm gonna sound weird if I'm wrong here, but you, are you the legendary hero? You are? Whew. Okay. Okay, I've got three pointers I'm supposed to pass on to you. You ready? One, in trouble, flip. Two, something suspicious, flip. Three, feeling saucy, flip. And there you go, now you know. Have my bottle car. Have my dude. It's nice that they put a vine sauce reference in this game, just like I knew. Just like I knew they should. Good day. Um. How is it? How are you good? What you need? Go ahead and grab the item you want, they're all good. I don't really even know what the fuck I would need. I have items I haven't even used yet, so I might just uh, not do anything. Thousands of years ago, a super advanced civilization lived in this area. We call them the Tribe of Ancients, but I guess they built this town too. The mayor says there are secret tunnels and rooms in this town that they built. Look around real closely, you never know when there's a secret around the corner. There's no secrets in your house. just heard this juicy rumor. Apparently the hero knows a secret dimensional technique. Yeah, he uses it to flip to another dimension and find loads of interesting things. Those blocks on my right might not look like much now, but if I were the hero, I might find some secret stuff behind them. And when you see coins, you can use the technique to, like, make more of them. If you see the hero, be sure to tell him to give it a try. Like fucking Zelda 2. What am I supposed to do to make more coins? Or was that just... Oh, do a, f a flip? Oh, fuck. Wow, I just missed out on all those coins because I didn't flip. FLIP! Someone just said literally the only thing. And another person said go work at Walmart. There was an interesting video, I think I told the chat about not that long ago, where I saw... It was on YouTube, it's some dude that goes to abandoned malls and locations, and he went to, uh... He went to an abandoned Walmart that was built on a fucking dump. And it was, like, sunk into the ground, and it was stinky. And it, it looked... I think it was... It, well, no, it wasn't Dan Bell. But yeah, it was a really good video. It was, it was creepy as fuck. Any of his abandoned mall videos are creepy. And really interesting, I think. Bright Sun Films, thank you. 
Uh, oh, are you a traveler? If so, are you carrying enough items that restore HP? You can buy more at Housett's shop here in Yoldtown. You can even hold on to any extra items you don't want to hike around with. Bright Sun Films is related to Dan Bell. They're so mean. How am I going to get past this obstacle? Hidden door. Now we should be able to get somewhere. Huh. Oh! Oh! Oh no, the door. Now we're locked inside! Sweet freedom. Wait a moment. If I have been set free, the legendary hero must have done it. I expressed concern when the ancients stuffed me in that chest 1,500 years ago. But it seems my fears were quite unfounded. The hero has finally arrived. Are you a pixel? Why, yes. I am indeed a pixel. My name is Thoreau. Are you a pixel as well? But you don't look familiar. Are you a newer model? I, well, I, um... No matter. Details do bore me. What is important is the fact that I have waited ages to lend my skill to the hero, and glorious day, here you are. Do take me with you, you simply must. You will then. Smashing! The throwing pixel, Thoreau, has joined you. Use him to pick up and throw objects and enemies. You can even throw while you jump. Thoreau, get out of here. With me at your side, one may grasp objects with great vigor. Simply press 1 to use my throwing ability. What's this 1, you say? You need not worry. The great being that is watching us will know what it is. Uh... Anyone? You feel like you're being watched? Are we watching them, or are they watching us? Just remember that I can grasp objects and enemies and hurl them with gusto. Grab something with one and press one again to throw it. Why not take a moment to get acquaint acquainted with my useful talent? So wait a minute. They're watching me watch you, and you watch me watch them. Glorious day. Consider me fully at your disposal. Now, to adventure and beyond. To infinity! I watch you, and you watch me, and you watch them, and you are all together. See how they run. Like pigs from the gun. See how they fly. I'm crying. Sitting on a cornflake, waiting for the van to come. Semolina Pilchard climbing up the Eiffel Tower. These lyrics are all, like, in my head, but in just the wrong order. Yellow mana custard dripping from a dead dog's eye. What the fuck? Anyway, I'm, I, I wonder if at some point you can get claimed, like if they're gonna have a system to get copyright claimed just for saying lyrics to a song. They would if they could, yeah. Oh, speaking of, here, check this out. You're gonna love this. Someone informed me that one of my videos got copyright claimed because of Crickets! Cricket noises! So the video, I think, was, um... Oh god, getting weird with it. One. And it was the sound of crickets, like, cricking. Or whatever. 
Let's see what video it was. I'm curious now. It was, um... Quality Android Games Part 1. So there you go. Cool, right? Also, here's another thing that people have been sending me. Phonas versus the May Rio boys. I am Will Winner, Superior Train Man. There's Sponge. There's o o Otsel. Someone said, dude, they have no legal basis for that shit. Fight the complaint. You can't copyright crickets, man. You're as... Listen, I'm, I'm feeling you on that one. I'm with you on that one. I can't fight that. YouTube does not have a good system for fighting copyright claims in place. I would... There's no way. They would strike me if I tried to fight that one. Oh, are you a traveler? If so, are you carrying enough items that restore HP? You can buy more at Housett's shop here in the old town. Right, okay. Vinny, contact someone, said someone in chat. Listen, I don't mean to be rude, but are you aware of what's happening with the content claim shit on YouTube? It's a losing battle. Completely. It's not even worth it to try most of the time. I'm gonna call the police on the people that claim the cricket noises. What was it? I'm the elder around here, so watch it. Uh, what do you want? Get off my rug. Actually, we were hoping to pass through town. Nothing but desert past here. There's treasure, but you'll get grit in your grunt and your grunders. That's what here is for. The old. Uh... The old town keeps the treasure safe from you. Watch it. Can't let you pass. See, this little guy in my pocket. Sorry, I'm back. He's got something to tell you. Know what he says? Watch it. So give it up. Was it? What? Oh, hey, you're the hero, dumplings. If you were, you'd have a pixel that's shaped like a hand. Well, if you had one, I might believe you're the hero, but you don't watch it. Was it you do? Oh, of course you do. You're the hero. Knew it all along. I'll give you that green fella a call. They'll let you across. Hello, green. It's me. Watch it. I said watch it. Watch it. Watch it. I said watch it, not botch it. Ah, the hero fella here wants to get across the bridge. I told him about the grit. Ah, yes. Let's just uh, keep that between us. I'd let the mustache guy through. Just get off my rug and go talk to green at the edge of town. Watch it. Well, it looks like I can finally retire, because my job is done. Well, when you're in that desert, keep a watchful eye out for some ruins. Treasure is there. Nasty beasts, too, so uh, watch it. Literally named NPCs. This is writing on the, on the level of true detective. Hey, did you hear? There's talk of renaming the old town to Hero's Book. The sad because of this legend that the heroes will visit this town after saving the world. Heroes are coming here. Can you even believe it? Maybe we should put up a sign. Hello. Vinny, even the haters, to be honest, that's me, will admit that this may be the best written game in the series. It's fun. I mean... I, I like the... I don't know, it's kind of... it's fun. I don't know if... I haven't seen enough of the game to feel like it was written well yet, uh, necessarily. But... We shall see. So we have facsimile Mario Luigi Bros. I got a call from, uh, old man Watch it. He, uh, so you're that hero guy then, huh? Oh, right on! Uh... I'll pull the bridge across for you straight away! That's my Danny Wells Mario, uh, Luigi voice. There you go! Mario, it's me! Mind if I ask you a question? Red or green, what's better? 
red. Hey, you're wearing red. I'm on to your lie, buddy. I said green? Oh. I pressed the button too quickly. I didn't get a chance to see what was happening. I kind of like that the chapters are divided up into these, like, small, smaller, like, levels. These smaller oh, chunks of levels. Vinny, you hate to seem spammy, but was it Kmart or, or Walmart? I can't seem to find a Walmart vid on his channel. It was Walmart. It was a PetSmart too, I think. Crash to Treasure, The Abandoned Walmart is the name of the video. From Bright Sun Films. 20 minutes. It's not even their best video on that channel. But I thought it was very interesting. With a bold quiver of his magnificent mustache, Mario let loose a hearty sneeze. A single grain of sand had flown along. Warm wind and trickled the hero's, tickled the hero's nose. It wasn't long before Mario and Tippy found the source of the sand, the old desert. Along the endless sun-baked expanse, Mario and Tippy continued their search. I hate Sam. One claims it's the company. Didn't old man watch it say something about there being some ruins around here? Pure heart can't be far now. We'd better not waste any time. There was another interesting video of, like, um... What was once a steel mill, I think? It was on the same channel. It got turned into a mall and just started, like, just failing, and they... they gave up on it. Whoa! Fuck. That time it was an overclocked Wii. Um, someone said something a minute ago, which was, Vinny, thank you for playing this. I haven't been watching a lot because there, you've been playing games I'm not interested in. And that's, 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 you know, that's how that goes. That is correct. There are times I will be streaming games that people, you know, some people like and some don't. Someone said, yeah, I didn't really like Mother 3. Okay, well that is, I, I'm not going to be measured about this anymore. I'm gonna just straight up say that, how dare you. No, but really, it's- that's why I do a lot of different types of games. Like, today we're going from Paper Mario to Resident Evil to fight Mr. Thick. And, um, I'm glad that, you know, I'm- honesty's good. I'm- I'm fine with the, uh, the honesty. I think that's- that's, you know... Like, Wargroove. Not a- not a lot of people are into Wargroove. I like it. It's probably boring as fuck to watch for some people, but that's all right. Apparently there is something under this tree.
Why did this just appear? You just skipped the entire level? Oh. I thought it was just a secret. One of the other things I like about that Abandoned Places channel, like the abandoned malls and stuff, is the music and the ambience. It just feels creepy to look at these places that have failed completely, and it's produced really well. The narration's good. What do you think is the best video? You know, I still have to watch a lot of this stuff. I haven't seen... Like, I haven't seen a lot of the channel, but, um... There's this one mall I saw that just popped up on the, um, it was like the autoplay for the channel. And it was, they spent millions and millions and millions of dollars on this mall. It's, it was huge. And it was extremely developed. And then... I don't even know if it was this particular channel. It might have been another channel that popped up. But, um... Rolling Acres? Was that the one? It was like a water-themed... ...mall. Like a nautical-themed mall. But whatever it was, that was really interesting to watch how they put... It was Rolling Acres. Yeah, they put so much money into that fucking thing, and it just failed. And now it's... ...almost abandoned. It's, it, and I didn't even watch the whole video. I need to do that, actually. I might do that tonight. Is this a fucking floating ass?! It's a Goomba, one of Bowser's minions. Max HP, one. Attack, one. It's really... It really puts the under back in underlings. It has no remarkable traits. Well, except this one has the ability to flip between dimensions. But I hear Goombas what? What do you hear Goombas? Tell me about Goombas. Tell me, what, what do they say? I hear Goombas do have their fans, so what can you do? They kind of have their fans. Piranha Plant seems to have more fans over at Nintendo. But, that's just me. That's my theory. Put the Wii speaker on the mic for us? Um, I don't really know when that's happening. Can I turn the Wii speaker off? So will that now play the... Will this now play the sounds on the... console? I will hold the controller up to my mouth, so that way you can... You can hear it on the... You can hear... The old signpost. Uh, find ye the tall red palm tree of fortune, and leapeth under its branches ten times. Is that really what I did to find that secret? Wow. Okay. Someone just said, Vinny, you're being way too paranoid with the flipping. 
And you're using way too many napkins. No, but you're right. I, I definitely want to check every area. Like, I'm really... I'm really into the idea that there's going to be a secret around every corner. That's the fun part of the game for me so far. Oh, there's other aspects I quite like about this game too, but that's a, that's a nice thing. Um, I watched a documentary on Netflix. Just a quick recommendation if anyone's into Stanley Kubrick movies. It's called um, Film Worker. And it is the story of Leon Vitale, who was one of the characters in Barry Lyndon, which is a movie I love. Not a lot of people love that movie as much as I do. I don't know. But he's, um... He was an actor in the movie. He played Barry Lyndon's adopted son. And then, um, later on in the movie... Well, later on in his career, he was like, I want to work with Stanley Kubrick. And he basically gave up his life and his acting career to be Stanley Kubrick's assistant. And you have to see the toll it took on him, because Kubrick was so fucking meticulous and such a perfectionist that this dude was working like 18-hour days. But it is a beautiful movie, Barry Lyndon. Uh, anyway, I, Leon Vitale is... he's great. He was in uh, The Shining. He was in, um... Not The Shining as an actor, but he helped with Stanley Kubrick and, and Danny's performance. He also, um, he actually played the Red Cloak in Eyes Wide Shut. That's his voice. What is the password? And that was like one of his last acting roles, I think. Um... But yeah, when Kubrick died, he ended up trying to like... ...make sure that the estate was preserved, all the movies were preserved. Everything was, like, perfect, and he kind of got shunned, but in the documentary, you see there's a lot of people that respect the fuck out of him. He just believed in Kubrick's vision so much that he wanted to... He wanted to do everything. He wanted to learn everything, and then he did, and he kind of became... Oh, awesome. He, he kind of became a master in his own right of, you know, tr film transfers. Making sure these movies didn't get shat on. Anyway, um, really interesting documentary. I obviously like Stanley Kubrick's movies quite a bit. And I think that this would be an interesting one to watch for anyone who, uh, has any- a similar interest. I'll use a mushroom item if I have to. What's the documentary called? It's called, uh, Film Worker. It's on Netflix. It's a squig. Think of these creatures as tougher squiglets. Max HP is 4 and attack is 1. They have a nasty habit of spitting rocks. Thankfully, the rocks are slow and easy to avoid. Secrets. Quick, where's the secrets? Vinny, red palm tree secret. I did the red palm tree. This is the red palm tree secret. This is the way to go.
It's a spike Goomba. Look, look at that spiky hat. Max HP is one, attack is two. That spiky hat makes stomping it or picking it up a very bad idea. I would recommend throwing something at it, or you could just walk on by. Oh yeah, fuck this thing. It is a nice hat, but I'm not... I'm not gonna bother. I wanted to try, you know, I gotta see for myself. I don't, I don't necessarily trust when, um, talking butterflies tell me to do something. I had a dream I was hanging out with Nicolas Cage the other night. Is that weird? He was like, oh! Oh, you're, you, you wanna, you wanna go on a boat ride? Oh! You wanna eat an apricot? I said, yeah, Nicolas Cage, I wanna eat an apricot with you. Uh. And that was it, that's the whole dream. I wonder how many people have dreams about Nicolas Cage on a nightly basis. That's probably a really weird question. Gra googly. So you're the lad sticking his... Uh, so you're the lad sticking his stashies in me boss's business. You shouldn't have crossed the kite. Yeah, I'm good at have the chunky I get chunky on you. You, you're one of the Count Count Black thugs, aren't you? Oh chunks is my name! And I'm no common thug lass. I thug for the Count of Ch Counts Count Black himself! One word from me blacky boy and I, I come to make you feel some damage! Damage? Yeah, I make that damage! Whatever then. Not that it matters a pinch of stew in the sandstorm, you're a goner! I, this wasn't the voice I did before, was it? Do you even know what Count Black is trying to do? Yeah. My boy's using powers and whatnot to bring back some order to this here world. An enemy old black be an enemy old mine. They all get chunked. This old chunks is a lot scarier than the other enemies we've faced so far. Maybe you should use my power to investigate him when we start the battle. Enough is enough already. It's time to thunder down from high and deliver a beat on the ages. Chunk it on. Oh wait, I mean chunk on it. That's O'Chunks. He's... He's a big bearded warrior of a man. That was, that was a voice and a half. Max HP 20, attack is one, grab you by the feet and hurl you. If you're in reach, he'll toss you, so keep your distance. You can turn the tables on him and use throw to send him flying. Let me toss you. I want the boss ya. It's, it's fucking screensaver. It's like a DVD screensaver. Toss you for one damage. I'm chunked. Me chunks. You failed me. I got pummeled and you barely sweat your brow. Hey, what kind of strange little man are you? 
this strange little man is none other, none other than the legendary hero Mario. Maria, eh? Tis an odd name, yeah. But you can bet your baby I remember that. His name's not Maria, it's Mario. You remember this, Maria? If you didn't look like uh, such a wee toddler, I wouldn't have taken it so easy on you. But I, I have to give it up for your effort, so let's call it a tie. You better not get some chunks of your own next time, though, eh? And while you're at it, why don't you wax that bonny stash of your Maria? Till we meet again, eh? Chunks away! Did you understand a word of what that goon was saying? I barely understand the things I was saying. And for some reason, when I read this character's dialogue, I, I read it backwards. Like, I, like, no, I mean, I was... <laughs> I was having trouble reading the dialogue, and I, I still don't remember the voice I did. I know it was a little bender. There was like a shitty bender in there. That's an ice churble. It's a nasty gas bag that spews a plume of freezy gas. HP 5, attack 2, gas will freeze you, don't go sniffing it. Some say the gas comes from their mouths, some say it comes from elsewhere. Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> Well, best writing in the series. We've established that. Is that an egg? Big egg restores HP and cures poison. On me. I'm just exploring. Which door do I go in? There's two doors. Purchase ye pop the distant platform of blue and following is for eyes of the hero only. Gaze ye at the side of the signpost. Old stone monument, there's something carved here. Chat, remember, if I don't get the thing, if I don't get the secret or the puzzle the first time I read it, I'm I'm an imbecile. Just remember that. Uh, yes, a, a troglodyte, if you will.
Read both, at, press both at the same time. It, platform of blue. This isn't a blue platform. I played this game when I was seven. I got I remember all the secrets. This guy is not getting it. Ah oh, god! The fuck do I even bother anymore watching these streams? Ah oh, fuck! Oh fucking god! Oh, I I got I I just I need Tylenol. Oh fuck! I mean, he had to do it. There was a secret in there. He didn't do it. He probably didn't even read it. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait, he got it. I mean, I didn't, ex I didn't expect it, because, like, it's a hard puzzle. You guys got to read the sign, really. <laughs> Somehow Mario had found the strength to cross the desert's sweltering dunes. Ahead was a sprawling complex of ruins rising out of the sand. Thankful for the shade, Mario and Tippy ventured deeper inside. They were the very ruins old man wa- Oh, fuck! Watch it had warned them about. What dangers lurked in the shady corridors ahead? Maybe this is a good place to stop the beginning of a new chapter, and I can do some Resident Evil. Um, unless, what do you think? How long is this chapter? 20 minutes? Hour? Or this part of the chapter? This is the end of chapter one. Yeah, alright, fine, let's do it. Mario, I can feel it calling. The pure heart is nearby. But wait, I sense something else emanating from the sand dunes. Be careful now, Mario. Something has the meat sweats. Buzzy Beetle? This is a Buzzy Beetle. It's much tougher than it looks. Max HP is 1, attack is 1, defense is 3. Even flames won't scorch its hard shell. Sometimes they cling to the ceiling and drop down on your head when you walk by. Not very friendly, Buzzy. Shame on you. Oh. Boy. Deserve that. I don't like the setup like a classic Mario game. Four stages, the last one being the dungeon. With the fire ropes, it's kinda cool. 
I think this so far is a good game. I like it. I like the RPG elements. I mean, I don't like it more than Paper Mario Thousand Year Door so far, but that's a hard, that's a hard game to beat. That's a that's a tall order that one. But um, it, it kind of it's growing on me more and more, and I do enjoy the. I I like this mechanic. It's nice. I thought a real toad was going to pop out of that. Vinny, have you played Mario RPG? Yes. I streamed that last year. That's one of my favorite games of all time, I'd say. And, uh... Not last year, two years ago. Two years ago. And I, I really enjoyed that stream. Well, probably like a year and a half ago. Now I don't remember. Vine Sauce... Mario RPG. I really don't even remember when I streamed this thing. My first stream of Mario RPG, according to this here video, is May 15th, 2017. So, yeah. Time flies. Last year I streamed um, uh, Mario and Luigi, first one, Superstar Saga. Oh, that's cool. kind of can't grab as many enemies as I thought you could without taking some some damage. I mean, it's made of spikes, but here's what I thought was going to happen the few times I've picked up spiky enemies. I thought that the hand was going to not, like, strike Mario with the spikes. But, it brings it back to Mario, so Mario can throw the thing. So that's... That's how you die. I just see, here's the thing, I like that I'm playing a lot of new games on stream. The Full Sauce channel is not new by any means, but... There were a lot of games that I streamed several times because I just wanted to show new people the games. Why would I do that? And, um... The past couple of years, I've been playing a lot of games I've never played before. Not just new ones, but old ones too. And it's been... it's been good. It's nice to catch up on some of the stuff that I missed. And, you know, there's probably... In the next couple years... There's probably gonna be some surprising... Choices that I make... For streams. Like Cho Anarchy. No, I'm kidding. Um, no way. Mate. Mate, no way. So while I was doing that, I wasn't paying full attention. Oh, here we go. Just gonna be right here. Vinny, have you considered playing uh, Ace Combat? Um, not really. I mean, it's it's 
you know. I like jet games, but I'm not I've not really played a lot of Ace Combat. I think I know what I have to do. Just had a brain fart. The last Ace Combat game I played was on PlayStation 1. Someone said Jet Force Gemini. Jet Force Gemini is better in theory than... Like, I, I actually thought that the game seemed cool. But it, it was so repetitive. It's so long. And it's not... I didn't love it. And I was a big Rare fan. I played pretty much everything they put out, but I didn't buy that one. My friend had it. I played his copy. The frame rates were really not great, and I didn't feel like the, the combat was all that fun. Here's my... I'm sure this is an unpopular opinion, and I'm sure there's people that love that game. But yeah, it didn't do it for me. And I, I pretty much got whatever else Rare put out on the N64, just not that one. Yeah, that was G GBJ. Yeah. When Kid Icarus, someone just said. Someone's like, PogChamp, when's Kid Icarus? What if I just played Kid Icarus on the NES? I just kind of love that game. But it is bullshit. It fr it's frustrating. Um, I've said this before on stream, but... I, Kid, Kid Icarus Uprising is... Amazing. I've streamed it years ago. There's a chance I could return to it. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to say no to that. But Kid Icarus is... The, the original Kid Icarus. Ow. The original Kid Icarus, I have a lot of nostalgia for. And... I had a hard time with it when I was a kid, but... I realized something. The game gets easier as you play it. The first couple levels are the hardest. Someone said, Vinny, why do you pronounce Kid Icarus like... ...ridiculous? I think that's how you say it. My cousin pronounced it. He said Kid Icarus. He, he was the, the cousin... Not the club cousin, but he was the one that was older than me, and... ...he got me into video games, and he... ...he got Kid Icarus, and he brought it back, but he called it Kid Icarus. So for years, I called it Kid Icarus. And then I watched Captain N, and they just called him- they called Pit Kid Icarus. And I was like, wait a minute, but my cousin can't be wrong. Yeah, he was wrong. This game definitely has a lot of the old Paper Mario charm. It's, it's nice. It's a good game. Then you should come to my club, Kid Icarus. Palutena goes there. You would love her. <laughs> P 
Palutena. <laughs> So far, I mean, in the first couple hours of the game, it hasn't run out of interesting things to do with this game mechanic. Like, they, they really threw everything at the wall. I bet they just had, like, a dedicated, you know, just room where they would just go to. They would drink coffee and they'd be like, okay, what can we do with this 2D, 3D mechanic? Anything you have is valid. Do it. And then they just, you know, suggested, oh, let's do this block puzzle. All right. Throw it in a room. There's an indie game, Fez, that's built around this mechanic, too. Yeah, I think I played that briefly. I know there was some drama around it because Phil Fish... I don't remember... I don't even remember the drama. That's how... I don't, I don't even remember it. Um, I remember the name and the fact that there was drama, but yet I remember no specifics. And I believe I played the game. Or watched someone stream it. My memory is that bad. Warning! Yep, it's a big dopey dragon. And it's it's perfect. Intrusion detected. Leave immediately or be purged. Wait, scan initialized. Red cap detected, blue overalls detected, level five mustache detected. That's it, level five? Incredible possible subject identification. But it is impossible. Hold your position, searching data banks. Search complete. One positive match. System overload. Legendary hero identified. Forgive me, hero. I am called Fractale. My only purpose is to defend the pure heart from lawless intruders. You are late. I have waited thousands of years for your arrival. You may pass. The pure heart is just ahead. Uh -huh. It won't be that easy. Oh, no. Who speaks? So very nice to meet you, and your mustache. I am Count Flex, Master of Dimensions. I, the pleaser of crowds, I am Dimensional. Remember the name well. I know you, you're that. It would be so very dull if your journey ended so easily. Instead, it ends with magic. Bzzzr. Yes, much better. Now you and this robotic guardian can spend some quality time. Yes, quality snack time when he snacks on you. For you are the snack. Ciao. Wait, did he just... See, I am error. Nice reference. Press any key to restart. System not found. Insert install disk. Disk not found. Please confirm disk cover. Read error. Insert boot disk and press enter. No response. System may be busy or melting into slag. Application error. Save your work and quit. You lost everything. Way to go, genius. Waiting for processors. 404 computer hamsters not found. Threat level upgraded to jelly roll. One de detonator. Detonation imminent. In 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 imminent. Beep. Flip. Beep. Flip. It was deliberate. It was deliberate. C, run query identification, run insult generator, go away, yitty lip, control, alt, delete. Yeah, it, it is of its time. It was like, hey, let's do, let's do Mario with like, you know, with things that people recognize. I don't mind it so much. Yet, at least. Let's see. 
That's Fractale, the robotic guardian of the pure heart. It's quite enormous. Max HP is, who knows, attack is one. It can fly and swoop down with its big open mouth. But I think the antenna-like horn atop its head is its weak spot. I think you're going to need to use Thoreau to hit it. I know there's like one particular moment in this game that was screen capped a lot and, and on the internet quite a bit. I just don't remember which one. It was like a peach line, maybe. Oh, complaining about video game forums, right. Complaining about games you've never played on video game forums. It's gonna fly in from the right, I can sense it. You should flip back into 3D. And that was over 10 years ago that that fucking line went, I guess, viral. Jesus. That's a fractal. These little defense bots protect Fractale's body. Max HP is one, attack is one. They will attack any intruder they find on their master. They must have been made by the ancients just like Fractale. We fucking Shadow the Colossus now. Oh, it loops. I see. Cool boss, though. Damn it. So it is possible to land back on him, but it's tough. Vinny, have you seen Meet's Two Brothers? Yeah, The Spoons? Uh, I've seen it. That game has been requested many times. Oh wait, no, the meat picture, yeah, the, the meat picture, yes. System crash. I have malfunction. What have I done? Hero, hero, the error is mine. I am sorry. Shame circuit smoldering. Please, you must save our world. Spoons? Explain. Okay. Okay. 
You want to know about me and the boys watching spoons in the microwave? Maybe if I post this, people will stop tweeting it at me. But yeah, here are the... the various meats. I don't know, this image kind of went all over the place. This has nothing to do with me, this image. It's just... it's been sent to me a lot. It's good that meats are getting a little bit of attention. Not just the one meat, but meat and his brothers. It's nice. Ours is left meat. Um, and then right meat is, I don't know, right meat is kind of scary. Middle meat is just like, you know, watched a couple too many spoons, I think. Welcome, hero. My name is Merlumi Merlumina. I am a dormant soul. I have waited long to give you the pure heart. Yes, I have waited for 1,500 years. It's a long-ass time. Your presence here must mean that all worlds have begun to collapse. Yes, they have, in fact. That's why we're here. Before I give you the pure heart, you and I must speak. Listen well, hero. Long, long ago, my people built a civilization hailed as a beacon of culture. Sadly, despite our power, there was one thing we were powerless to stop. The Dark Pros Prognostica, sorry. I get it. I get that word. Nobody knows who authored- Nobody knows who authored the Dark Book. It's foretold the events of the future. On the last page, it was written that a chaotic power would devour the world. We knew it had to be stopped. Our greatest minds devised a grand plan to stop the tragedy before it happened. We needed something with the pure essence of love to confront this chaos. Researchers set to work, and they created the Purity Heart. We divided the Purity Heart into eight pieces and hid them in different dimensions. The Triforce? We hid them for our own protection, waiting for the day that the hero would arrive. Everything was going as planned, or so it seemed. But the wheels of destiny began to spin wildly out of control. It began with a very small incident. At that time, I was young and quite beautiful. It started the day I met two very fetching young men. And you see, my life set sail towards the maelstrom of love. You see, I asked one out, however. But, well, however, it was, well, you know. Basically, it, and, and then I said, uh, and he said, and then, um... And that is why we have... We hope the Purity Heart will have the power to defeat Chaos. To save all worlds, we must find the eight pure hearts that form the Purity Heart. And that is all I have to say on the matter. Were you listening carefully? Yeah. A uh, yeah! Excellent. I did tell the short version, so I wasn't sure if you would fully understand. It is up to you to find the pure hearts, for they are our last and only hope. Go forth, hero, and save the world. We are all depending on you. Mamma mia! My hair and my mustache is a different color in later games. Before disappearing, Merlumina had entrusted Mario to save every world. She had waited 1500 years to deliver the message to the legendary hero. With the second pure heart in hand, Mario was in great spirits. But six pure hearts still remained to be found, and the journey had just begun. With a flutter, Tippy said, I think we'd better return to Flipside. The weight of every world's fate once again rested on Mario's shoulders. Oh yeah! We gonna have us some cappuccino! We'll stop there. Now, the story will definitely resume from that moment.
when I come back to the game, right? It saved. It did. Yeah, it saved. Okay. So then we're good. We'll come back to it. And, uh, you know, thank you for watching. This game is, is pretty good. I like it. I am enjoying the game. I don't know if I will enjoy it as much as I'm enjoying it now all the way through, but so far, I think it's cool. Vinny, the chapter one is the worst. Oh. So that means it only gets better. Um, yeah, I mean, the cutscene, we'll, we'll, it'll resume. We'll get a chance to see the damn cutscene. For sure, I think. <laughs> that was quick. All right, so, hey, thanks. It's good to have another kind of, you know, main game on the menu. And uh, I'm glad it's this one, because people seem to be enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. It's, uh, it's one of the Paper Mario games that I've been meaning to play for years. I'm not meaning to play Sticker Star or Color Splash, sorry. But this one... You know, the first two are obviously the ones that people love. But as I've said, this one definitely has its fans. It was recommended a lot. And I get why. It's so far, it's pretty cool. But hey, stick around. We're going to... We're going to play Resident Evil 2 Remake for an hour and a half. Coming up very shortly. You know I'm addicted to this XTC album. And I can't help myself but play a nice, pretty song from it that I like a lot. Because this album has actually been really good. And it's been really um, nice to have in my life at this moment for some reason. So here's a song from it. Be right back. 